Okay, so now we've talked all about the units, the outside, the inside. What about the management of the building? In many cases, in most buildings, you will actually see a management team that's behind all of the engineering, the running of the building, etc. The other concern, this is the place that you come. In a condominium, you are part of a group of ownership that is everybody's best interest at heart. We've talked about where my liability is, which is on the inside of the unit, and where the external liability is, which is the hallways, the building itself, and the folks who really run the building. You'll be asked at some point during your offer process to request something called a status certificate. And basically what that is, it's really two parts that your lawyer wants to see. One on the overall financial health of the building, and the second one on the overall uh, financial health of the unit itself. What the lawyer, your lawyer, is looking for are any kind of um, special assessment notices? Are there uh, costs that might be external to uh, your particular unit? And if so, who's responsible for those payments? And also something called the reserve fund. And that's where, uh, because this is a communal building, they have a slush fund, a kitty if you will, to look after things like improvements, updates, any kind of maintenance issues that keep the building in tip top shape if these guys don't already do it. In many condominiums, there are some benefit rooms as well. You'll find things like maybe perhaps a gym or a pool or a Pilates room. They have sometimes health uh, on duty as well, so not necessarily a doctor's office, but something for minor injuries, etc. You might find a convenience store or a tuck shop on site. In some cases, you'll find, well, even a wood shop. Now, I'll tell you something, it's, I've only seen a couple of them, probably in buildings that are 30 plus years or more, that they actually have the wood shop, possibly the tools, etc., for you to work with as well. In many cases, you'll find things like a boardroom and a party room. And the party room is, again, something you can usually just rent, in some cases, or just request from the condominium corporation. But anyway, what they're doing is enhancing the quality of your life.